Hello everyone, welcome back to the new SQL tuning case study. My name is Vijesh and today we are going to see a new case study based on nested loop joins. So let's get started. So this is our SQL statement. Select first name, last name, E dot hire date from employees E, departments D, locations L. So this is joining between three tables. And we have a where clause E dot employee ID in where I'm trying to select 11 employees and we have E dot employee ID greater than zero. Then there is a join condition between e dot department id is equal to d dot department id and d dot location id is equal to l dot location id. So when I run this query, I am getting around 11 rows out of the select query output. So now let's see how we want this query to be executed. So going back to the fundamental approach, we have to start with such a column in the where part of the clause, which is going to give me too many distinct values or which is qualifying for less number of rows, right? So we certainly cannot start with this join operation because if we start with this join operation, I have to scan all the department IDs from the department's table. Then I have to scan all the department IDs from the employees table and then do a join operation. And whenever there is a match, those rows will get qualified. So definitely this is a lengthy operation. So I, obvious choice I have right now with me is to start with E dot employee ID. Now E dot employee ID in, since employee ID is a primary key in employees table, so each value is going to qualify for only one time. That means e dot employee ID in 100 to 110 is going to give me 11 rows. So this 11 rows from the employees table can further be given to this join operation with the departments table. Now since in the departments table, department ID is a primary key, this join operation is again going to give me 11 rows. Now this output from this join operation is further given down to the join operation with the locations table. Now since the location ID is again a primary key in the locations table, this join operation with the departments and the location table is again going to give me a 11 number of rows. So that is how we wanted Oracle to execute this query. So I am retrieving 11 rows from the employees table, giving this to the join operation with the department table where I'm again getting back 11 rows after the join operation. These rows are further given down for the join operation with the location table where I'm again getting 11 rows because location ID is again a primary key. Now let's see whether Oracle has actually executed this query in the fashion which we wanted. This is the execution plan which Oracle has taken. And if you see there are a couple of nested loop joins and a couple of hash joins. And if you see the estimated row count, you obviously see that there is some problem or there is some unnecessary scan which Oracle had done to execute this query. The reason why I say this is because you're seeing some 27 rows here, right? But since our query is only dealing with the primary key with all the three tables, we shouldn't be expecting some 27 rows in this execution plan, right? Let's try to analyze this execution plan first. Now, if you want to read this execution plan, since there are a couple of hash joins and a nested loop join, so we have to try the approach where we will look for such a join operation which is the topmost and also the innermost so if i go by that approach so this is the first nested loop join but this is not the topmost and neither the innermost so i will come down to this hash join so this is the hash join which is the topmost and also the innermost one i can't say this hash join is the topmost and the innermost because it is a child of view so that means this is not the topmost and the innermost so i have to select this second operation has shown which is the topmost and the innermost. So this is the operation which is going to execute first, right? But since this is a parent, in order to execute two, I had to execute my three first because three is the child of two. And now since three is again a parent and four is the child of three, four should execute first before three, right? And since five is again a child of four, five should execute first in order to four, in order that the four should get completed. So fifth is the operation which is going to execute first, then fourth will execute, then third will execute, right? And now since three and six are in the same level, six, six, six should execute later on. In order that the six should complete its execution, seven should execute first because seven is the child of six. And if we want seven to execute first, eight and nine should complete, right? So the order of the execution for this explained plan will be five will execute first, then four, then three, then nine will execute, then eight, later seven, then six, and then the nested loop join will execute, 
where it will try to do this 10th operation right so this is how the execution plan or how this is how we'll read this execution plan so let's see what is the first fifth operation is doing so fifth operation is doing an index unix scan on the employees table using the employee id primary key so if you see the fifth operation in the access and filter predicate it is actually accessing the employees table using the employee id between in 100 to 110 so the way we wanted oracle to start the execution is exactly the same how the oracle has actually performed it okay so what actually went bad in this case that is what we have to drill down and see so next operation is fourth so it is trying to table access by index row id for the employees table because from the employees table we need the first name last name and the e dot highlighted as well so that is the reason why we are saying this table access by index row id for the employees where it tries to retrieve the information of first name last name and e dot higher date for the respective employee id so that is between 100 to 110 so after that next operation is the ninth and the eighth operation so let's see what ninth and eighth is doing ninth is doing an index fast full scan on the department location id column and it is also doing an index fast full scan on the department id column for the departments table the result of these two is given for the join operation and out of this a one view for based on the indexed join is getting created right so let's see what does this means so this means that it is doing a full index scan on this department id column for the departments table it is also doing a full index scan on the location id for the, again for the same departments table and then the result of this entire scan whichever is qualified based on the values passed by the employees table will form a index join right so that is the reason why it is taking a lot of time so this is not we actually wanted the oracle to do we actually wanted oracle to uh, join the employees table with the departments table and later departments table with the location table but in turn oracle is actually scanning the departments id as well as the location id from the departments table using two separate index fast full scan based on the values which is passed from the employee id between 100 to 110 because departments is joining with the department id from the employees table so whichever departments are present for the employee ids those department id from the department tables will be qualified after doing a full fast full index scan and similarly those location ids for uh, the department table will also get qualified for these employee ids again based on the index fast full scan so this is the reason why it is taking lot of time so let's see what a resolution is so here we are seeing a hash join right there are a couple of hash joins which we are noticing here so hash join is required when you're trying to join two bigger row sources right so in this case since the join operation is expecting only 11 rows to be joined with the departments table we don't need a hash join to be built we just use a simple nested loop join to come up with the desired execution plan so in order to do so what we have to do we just have to use a very simple hint that is nothing but your nested loop hint so let's see how it works so this is the dictionary statistics for the employees table and the departments table so if you see in the employees table employed is the primary key so that's why each value of the employee which is passed in the select query is going to give me only one row since we have passed 11 employees we are expecting 11 rows similarly in the departments table department id is the primary key so that again should give me only one row for each join operation similarly in the locations table location id is the primary key so the join operation with the locations id is again going to give me one row for each join operation so in order to resolve this query i just have to use a simple hint that is called as use underscore nl which is a nested loop hint and when i use this nested loop hint i am going to get this desired execution plan right and where i am scanning 11 employee ids and then the join operation with the departments table and then the join operation with the locations table so do you see there are very few estimated number of rows which the oracle has scanned rather than the top execution plan which where it has scanned unnecessary rows uh, using the index fast full scan now why a nested loop on employees table and the departments table alone since this is the first table which we are trying to join if we just put this hint only on these two tables 
that is more than sufficient even if you want we can also include e space d space l so that all the three tables are joined using a nested loop let's try to analyze this execution plan again now looking at this execution plan since fourth fifth is the innermost operation this is the first operation which is going to execute so fifth is an access on the employees table for the employee id column between 100 to 110 so it has exactly did what we wanted then the next operation is fourth so like i said it will try to access the employee's first name and last name from the employees table next operation is seventh because it is again the innermost after the fifth operation so seventh operation is again accessing the departments table for the department id and then joining with the department id for the employees table so this is exactly what we wanted it has jo uh, did a join operation using a nested loop if you see here this is the nested loop operation between this third and the sixth that means between the employees table and the departments table so it exactly did a nested loop join and if you see this is a index unix scan this is because the department id is the primary key in the departments table and it is expecting only one row out of each join operation so this operation is again going to give me 11 rows because the department id is the primary key now the next operation is again a nested loop but in order for this nested loop to complete i have to scan this eighth operation so looking at this eighth so eight is accessing the locations table using the location id column then it is doing a join operation with the departments table using the location id so this is operation is again expecting only one row and it is running an index unique scan because location id is the primary key in the locations table so if you compare the execution plan with the old it has avoided unnecessary scanning of department id and the location id for the departments table based on the index fast full scan and has resulted in improved performance by making use of a very simple hint there is nothing but your nested loop hint so hope you like this uh, case study and please feel free to post in your questions and comments and i will like, try to address it thank you so much